It's a finished plate. Very nice. Rice with vegetables, cuttlefish, zucchini, a little lemon. Perfect. We're in the museum, we're visiting the Museum of Contemporary Art. They have a little olive grove outside. But there's no olives on the trees. Not that we can see. These trees are old. These, bush, these uh, hedges are well trimmed, very close together. A lot of tile work. It's kind of a three-dimensional tile. Very nice. I'll sit here. You can take it here. Just behind me. All right. But don't take my legs. Okay. This is an old ceramic factory. And these are the tiles they produced. Look at this tree. It's incredible. This thing is old. This is all the tree trunk. All oh, one tree. It's amazing how old this must be. Big complex here. Big people living here. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah. And yeah, this was a convent. All the tile work up there.
I wonder if that's the original or they put that on afterwards. Yes, this is an installation. Baskets of grapes. Baskets of grapes against the uh, old stone wall. This is memories of her past. The artist's past. You could feel the memories. Great pickers laying down their baskets of plastic baskets. Oh, this is a nice drawing. So work by Ron Hart Mucha from Germany, 1980. Plywood fabric. Glass doors. Chip and silk screened. And underneath the glass doors is the fabric. Room. Here's a description of the, the uh, artist's other work in Spanish. Here's the kilns from the ceramics factory.
This is the remnants of the monastery, convent, church, whatever it was. All these tiled walls. It's strange, they converted this convent into a ceramics factory built all these kilns. This is the bottom of the kiln. They fired it up in the below. This is where they had all the work. Space. whole church is decorated in tiles. This is on an island which is famous for the clay. Sixteen oh seven. Sixteen oh seven. When was the monastery? This is dated sixteen oh seven. This is all handmade tiles. Monasteries from the 1400s. This is a burial place for the Ribera family. Here it says right here. It's quite detailed. And the tombs. 
Surprised he survived it. Such good shape. I know it's in. Look at this chain mail. It's really. The hands look very realistic. They look very peaceful. Mm. They look very peaceful. That's too it's bad. Old. I don't know. Here's all gonna... the cigar. Did somebody put a cigar in his mouth. Well, that's quite, quite intricate carvings. Yeah, all of this is something. Quite elaborate, don't you think? Quite elaborate. Man. Yeah, it's amazing that this place doesn't have more tourists. <laughs> the only reason we found that it's across the river from uh, our apartment. So the tiles are kind of a Muslim style influence, at least the influence is there. Ah, okay, this is the original chapel. Refractory. Look at all the different st styles of tiles they got. Yeah, wow. That's all wood carving. Can't see it in the video. It would have been about 1588. 1588? There's a portrait. A portrait somewhere that the monk would read the scriptures while they were You can see these are like benches all around. Well, these are benches. Oh. Here's the Revere Crest. 
the Rivera family was their patrons. And they're buried in those tombs that we saw. The Rivera's. So the monastery ran out of money apparently and then they sold it to the ceramics factory. That's cool. I like the car. It's a part of a wall. It's a twenty volt club. <laughs> He's curved it around. spaces. You see the star and the eye in the middle of the star. Five pointed star with an eye in the middle. It's got images in here that you have to look for. These are nice. They get a three dimensional quality when you step back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting space. A monastery converted to a ceramics factory converted to a modern art exhibition. Nice spot.
beautiful gardens. Look how well kept those hedges are. Look at roses. Look at the tile work on that dome. I know, it's beautiful tile work. This is really pretty. Beautiful tile work. It's a combination of the Christianity and the Moorish influence. Which ones? Oh, yeah. Let's go over here. The monastery probably supported itself. <clears throat> Through the gardens and olives. Donations from that family. Their sponsors. We're stopping for lunch. Cute little spot. Nice tile work. Gonna have snails. <laughs> so here's our plate of snails. Caracoles. Caracoles. What you do is you go in and then you get the meat out with a toothpick. And that's your plate for your shells. They're really good. It's in like a salty beef broth. Here's an interesting building. It's the aquarium. Or antiquarium. Antiquarium? What is an antiquarium? Very interesting. Very modern. We're taking a little break here and have some sparkling water. There's a church, and they, all these churches have a lot of tile work. It's really fancy.